Escape from Tarkov Hardcore Season 3 begins today, and I'm not doing it in French, damn you all. Hairless Gambino? I think not. Unfortunately, Geneva Enjoyer is taken by my other account. What's our name, boys? The Follicle Fondler? Sterile Stan Minoxidil Man? We're gonna go with Follicle Fondler for now. We can change it every raid if we want to. Okay, now the big question. This is where we run the poll. Okay, looks like it's definitely bear. I think uh, more than half of chat has voted bear, so let's go with that one. So, step one, you turn off the Tarkov music. The Tarkov music gives me brain hemorrhoids. So this is the starting stash. This is basically how Tarkov works. You have a player character. This is your guy. That's our little baby man right over there. These are the things that we have equipped on the center console. That's our body and our equipment. That's the inventories. So like if you see a little box next to an icon, that's the inventory of that box. And this is our stash. This is like our metagame supply of goods and services. We, playing hardcore, have to delete everything from the get-go. All right. True hardcore talk of start. I think that might genuinely be the fastest I've ever done that. That was a damn speed run. All right, so this is, they are traders in the game. They sell you stuff because we're playing hardcore. We're not allowed to buy that stuff. Uh, you can get a task. You can click accept on it. We have to go do some things. I got to kill five scavs anywhere in Tarkov. And I got to find some uh, some shotguns. This one, I got to find three Salewas, you say. So chat, where's our, uh, where's our first run going to be? That's our scav. We are never allowed to use him. Normally that's a way for you to get like some extra equipment and we will go reserve. So the um, the goal for this series, just because we are starting this at the end of October and the game wipes to blank at the start of November. This is the very first raid. If you're just joining us, you're not missing anything. Uh, the, the goal for this series is going to be to try and get to level 20. And if we get to that, we'll see how far we can get, right? Uh, that's sort of like a, a soft goal, and then the, the the real goal is just how far can we go before the game wipes or I lose interest. <laughs> What's our strat here, chat? We're going to reserve. We got to get in to one of the weapon crate rooms as quickly as possible. If we don't have a gun, we are dead men walking. Even with a gun, we're in pretty dire straits here. Probably wouldn't be able to finish the stream. No, I don't think so big we oh you won't be able to well, i won't be able to either way one of us ain't making it out of the hood with this one let me tell you okay we're gonna get killed from the right now with the player spawn there i don't make the rules i simply play the game okay this is actually a great spawn we gotta go in the hole here and uh, this map is quite large but there's a lot of really good loot sort of fairly sorry it's not very large but there's a lot of loot fairly condensed uh, we're looking for boxes. I have absolutely nothing to my name right now. If we die, we just go back to having nothing. So, really, not much risk involved. There's a big box. Okay. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Oh my god, and what a gun. This thing shoots like 50 caliber bullets. Alright, what are we working with here? About half a magazine of PS12. Okay, five shots-ish. Crazy, crazy, man. The streamer loot. Okay, it's going to be a little bit dark. Sorry, gamers. We'll fix that in a second. I got to find more loots first. Okay. Ooh, this is a big one. Uh, a helmet. It's a bad helmet, but it's a helmet. Another weapon box. Let's look at the drip. Oh, yes. Oh, we are gaming now. <laughs> we are gaming now, my dude. Alright, what have you got for me in here? Oh, please. Helmet. Helmet. Helmet right. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, that noise is so awful. I hate this map. That means someone's right over there, right? I hear a boop boop boop. Okay, that unfortunate noise is unfortunately unavoidable.
Oh, I hate reserve. I hate that noise. It's gonna last the next three minutes or four minutes. I can't, can't do nothing about it. I'm afraid. Let's go up on the roof and see if we can get a, a snipe here. The shots are over that way. Maybe we could get lucky here, boys. Maybe we can go in and clean out a no gun spawn. Maybe we can go and clean up some of the mess over there. You can't stand the noise. I'll understand. Come back in three minutes. We'll either be dead or uh, quiet. Okay, what have we got here for me? Suppressor. We... Is that mayonnaise? My favorite. I'm really hoping I can find uh, some... Oh, there's a foregrip. That's a pretty big win. Put that on there. Nope, not allowed. Take that off. And put that on there. What have you got for me here? Nothing. Uh, excuse you. Okay, ammo. That's actually pretty good. We should take that. Ammo. Alright, keep it moving. I was really hoping a scav would come up and try and fight us here. But I don't see anybody. I have no armor. So we'll have to get the first hit pretty quickly, or we're dead, basically. God, it's so loud. Loud noises. Maybe we go underground? I think we go underground. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. We go into the bunker. Right, we go deep, deep down. We see what we can get down here. Okay, we sneak. We sneak, boys. Sniping with subsonic bullets that weigh the same as shotguns or slugs. Exactly. I'm built different. Okay, they do only move at 285 meters per... People here? Run! I have stolen! Oh my god. Oh my god. Loot and scoot, baby. Okay. Thank god that fucking noise has ended. If you don't know what just happened, uh, someone is killing bosses down there. And I managed to uh, swoop in and steal one of their kills. Oh my god. We got meds. Okay, boys. We get out. We got meds. We got armor. We got sunglasses. We dripping. How are we looking now? Pretty good for a first raid. Okay, I gotta get all the way down there without dying. New objective unlocked, survive. We take this kit, we go to woods, we kill some shit, we make it out. Listen, a man's gotta move. A man's gotta move. That SKS find is really nice, you're telling me, dude. Look at this thing, it's a behemoth. The ammo is a bit trash, unfortunately, but, you know, we can't have everything. Yeah, it's T-45M. Okay, we move. There is a man. 
is running inside this building. I'm a sneaky snake, slithering through the grass. I'm a sneaky snake, they gonna eat my ass. I'm a sneaky sneaky boy. Oh, never mind, it's a scab. We're fine. I kind of want to use this. Woo! That thing makes quite the noise when it hits the ground. You weren't kidding, Tater. This is an AI. I hear him coughing over the horizon. Oh, he died. That's rough. We can get some more bullets here, though. I can't take the backpack. We need to go out the backpack this extract. Fuck. Run. Run! Loot and scoot, boys! Okay, that's our extract right there. I gotta check the jackets first. Listen, I wouldn't be a good loot goblin if I didn't. Take this jacket right here. Okay. I don't know if you could tell someone that legally cannot get you sick. What? I've been playing it all wrong. Here I was thinking like I had no choice in this situation. And now you're here telling me that I'm simply a fool for allowing it to happen? I mean, that tracks, but I'm still hurt. We gotta wear the mask. We gotta wear the mask. Oh, you piece of garbage. Yeah, I want to see what the mask looks like, at least. That's terrifying. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here, coach. Fuck. No, no, no. Okay, we lived. Someone up there on the damn 50 cal <laughs> just blasting us. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's such an easy first run. You got your suit, you got your start immediately. Yeah, but at this time, no one could go like, Oh, well, clearly staged. Oh, it's a friggin' multiplayer game, okay? We got four shots in a dream left in this bad boy. I think this bad boy's getting sold, to be completely honest. I, uh, I need the money so I can repair this bad boy. All right, so we got 61 bullets. We got some worse bullets. We got, we got stuff, dude. We got stuff going on here. And a pistol. I didn't even see the pistol. Ooh. Okay, not too bad for one run, huh? Not too bad. Let's get organized here. I guess we probably can't sell guns right now. We already have four guns. So let, I'll hold on to it for a minute. Mechanic has a new task for us. Guns with part one and introduction. We've got to go to the woods. 45,000 rubles right there. Therapist, we go. And we've got 29,000 rubles right there. Okay. Last thing we want to do is check out the hideout. We can buy the vents though. Yeah, we now have an air vent. Oh, look how spooky it is in here. I think we do our next task. We go to the woods and we get this done. And we move. Cheeky breaky, Mr. Bald Man. Hello, MDK. You are here for raid number two of Hardcore Season 3. We are... I don't need to loot the village. I think we skip the village. I think we skip the village. And I think we go and we loot the lumber camp instead. We've got to go get Jaeger's letter in this raid, but that's kind of the only thing we're focusing on. Look at this piece of machinery over here. What we really need right now is medicine, and we need... Yeah, we need meds, and we need guns. Those are our, uh... Our, that's what we're really lacking. After that, what do we need? Meds, in this order, meds, guns, armor. Then we need, like, rigs and... Money and everyone barter items and all the other crud that can come later. With hardcore, you gotta you gotta be a bit more careful about how you start. Okay, there's our lunch. We got an MRE and some apple juice. Actually, sounding pretty good right now. Plexiglass, spark plug, and drill. I'll have to come back for that. Don't have a backpack just yet. I hate I hate how your character looks down the sights of the SKS. Why would you hold it like? Like, in front of you like that. Just 
move your uh, listen i listen i know you don't want to break your cheekbone when it recoils but like just get a little bit closer maybe metal parts our battery everything i have is in your hands be careful loot and scooch yeah i think we're gonna be back quickly talk of is back yeah mac and sign we literally started uh 25 minutes ago this is hardcore season three. Oh, <gasps> it's the all chat that's actually pretty huge that's a big part of the lavatory upgrade and it's quite difficult to find okay we can't loot too much we haven't got a lot of space here we're gonna have to go find a backpack get it off somebody uh more contacts is good but i haven't got i can't take him i haven't got a two by two slot oh okay listen these are better we should take it and that does technically give us a front sight. Is that better than just iron sights? Maybe. We'll take it with us. 12 gauge adapter. Might need it. I need to get a backpack, man. Ooh. Piece of candy. Pumpkin with sweets. I can't open it in raid and I, I can't take it because I, I need a backpack. <laughs> Are you sensing a theme, chat? All on the first raid. Get the fuck out of here. I know, dude. We need to move. This goes on the SKS. No, it doesn't. Okay, I know. We actually... Listen, I'm being stupid by looting. We need to leave. The, the loot has been crazy. This this is the second raid, sir. I'll have you know. Oh my... We can extract right here? That doesn't seem right. What the hell? Okay, I say we go get the letter and we leave. Don't need that now. I'll take that for the money. There's some beans. We got the beans. Salt. We needed that for the hideout. Squash. That's lunch. Okay, get me the hell out of here. Is there ready violence? So we can literally extract right here. Boys, what do I do? Do I leave for the all? Do we just, do we just reset right, because we can literally extract right there. I mean, but the letter is like two minutes run right over there. Tater's saying extract. Make the safe play. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Speed run, speed run. Leave, secure and scoot. Okay, 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 okay. I'm listening to you, chat. I'm listening. I'm not going to be greedy. Except to loot this box right here. <laughs> I've got slots that are multiplying. And I'm losing control. Well, I'm glad I looted this. Jesus. I don't need that for a long time. Hold on. That's a really good... Uh, 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 this is just money. That's a really good foregrip. Oh, it's a really good pistol grip. Okay, what can we see before we extract? Nothing. Okay, nothing of value. Whew. Okay, this is a four times scope. That's pretty good for most AKs. This is a nice suppressor for most AKs. You actually got a pretty decent AK build, build it come, cooking up over here. So nothing too crazy. I am gonna take money this time for the car. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take 5,000 rubles so I don't forget. There we go. Uh, and I mostly allow myself to put it in the pouch because otherwise I just forget that I have to do it. And I think we keep the sight on there for now, for now. Because that this gun can't take a rear sight, unfortunately. Okay, let's make some quick cash and get right back in. Next, woods, relock. You pack those in your clothing. Wrap them up. Graphics card you put in your backpack. Obviously, you take that on the plane, uh, and then you you take that with you as is, and then you can fly it over. And then when you get there, you just buy another box and monitor. Um, I have taken monitors before. They're too heavy. Because you only get 23 kilograms of weight now per bag on most flights. Because uh, apparently airplanes have become less efficient since COVID. Don't exactly know uh, how they're justifying that particular change. But I guess they're just uh, allowed to do whatever the hell they want. And so now we're stuck with uh, this, this nonsense situation. Okay, where am I going? I gotta go to the letter. But we can hit up ZB14. I think we cut across and we hit up an attachment shed. I have a feeling I'm going to get shot in the left ear by a player now. I have a feeling. 
No, no. Re recalibrate. Right ear. Okay. Get some stamina and then we cross. So if you don't know what stamina is over there on the that side of the screen, bottom your bottom left corner, the top blue bar is like your aiming stamina. It's your arms. So when you like stand up from a crouch position and stuff, you lose a little bit of that. Or prone position. And the green bar is your like endurance. Like your ability to run and jump and change direction quickly and stuff like that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. There's my my right ear. Right ear incoming. Oh, there he is. He's lying down on the grass. I can't see him. Okay. Top up. Pack the mag from the top down. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to use the iron sights for that. But we, we, we're keeping the scope. Well, not scope, but you get the idea. Okay, no free... Oh, ooh, scope! Dude, the attachments are going crazy right now. These are all really good. If you don't know what's what, don't worry. I'll check it out in a second. Uh, AP ammo... We take everything at this point. We are beggars. We are not going to be choosers. Okay, lots of ammo. That's a really nice nine, 3x9x scope. Got an Iskra. That's pretty big. 50 rounds of armor-piercing ammo is pretty good. Some SPP. That's also armor-piercing. Uh, I'll tell that a man laughs. He dares to laugh in my direction. We put him down. Oh god, look at that. It's the pumpkin boys. What the... What is he doing? The player. I killed him! Holy fuck, I killed a player, chat. I dropped him like it's hot. Okay, where's his friends? There's always more. The first rule of Tarkov, there's always two. The little Mosin man, boys. First player kill of the series on raid three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's seething right now. Oh, goodness. Put that shit on my face. Oh, the man is... He's writhing. He's raging. Granatas. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Very excellent. The solution is most human. Okay. Unfortunately, a bit of a doo-doo bum gun... But, uh, got a scope on it, at least. Fuck. Keep your head down. Keep your head down, son. It'll all be over soon. That's that initial scab we took pot shots at. Coming back to haunt me. Level 1 stamina. My god. YT compression being bad? Oh, sorry, guys. I, um... Oof, I can't do much about that, unfortunately. The best thing you can do for your compression is watch the stream with a slight delay. So, like, move it back by a minute, up your quality as high as you can go, and then just wait. Let it let it buffer a little bit so you got some more to work with. There is a second one. Human rights killer guy. Hey, listen. They're not real people. That's how I that's how I tell that's what I tell myself when I cry in the shower. Why wasn't that man wearing armor, chat? He had no body armor whatsoever. Was he doing the no body armor kill quest? But you can do that. There's oh, a man. I missed. Oh, fuck.
Well, we're dead. Just gonna back off real quick. Thankfully it's suppressed. So maybe he didn't hear me. We're going the long way around now. I missed. Damn it, I whiffed. I, I, I thought he was gonna start running. And so I shot too far forward. I tried to anticipate and I failed. We go wide. Maybe we can catch him on a reflank if he's still looking. There's a quest on woods to kill PMC, PMCs without an armor and helmet. Does the shattered mask not count as a helmet? Okay, before we go any further forward, anyone You're up not here? That guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. There is a guy over there. Oh no, maybe it was just the Maybe it was just the wind. That guy's probably coming from the camp up there, right? Gotta love that scope though. Damn, that that's a clean that's a clean visual. Oh, if we'd managed to drop him, that would have been amazing. Win for our follicle feline owner? Oh dude, I wish. Did I saw good that was a scav? No, no, that was a player. That was a player, Mackensign, 100%. That was a, it was a, not a very heavily geared player, but he had some nice stuff on him. Um, specifically, that helmet looked really good. Cop siren startup IRL with that exploded. <laughs> That's great. Ah, another one. Okay, so he was running straight line down here. So he's going to go pick some fights down in the camp. But he was working on. I say we give him his berth. And we go this way. I've only got one more shot with the... Oh, sorry. Six more shots with that. Seven if you count the extra bullet. I did lose one when I reloaded. Mosin, you pull out a cartridge when you reload. Even if it's not, not shot. Oh god. Okay, goodbye, follicle man. Why? That optic on that Mosin is comically large. Look at it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he's got quite an interesting build there. Not how I would have done it myself, but uh, I'm but a humble man. It also stands off. For, it stands up so tall. Well, that's what we'll blame. We'll say it's a, it's, a, it's a weird standoff. That's the problem. Too high up, you know, for a mortal man like myself to use. Yeah, is, the, is there a guy up here? Sometimes people sit up on this rock. No rock guy. Yeah, I've got to go. I've got to go in that direction. Roughly. And there's a lot of um, excitement between here and there for us. Uh... I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I think we go around the back of the mountain and we go through the the side the side tunnels. I'd really like to secure this optic if we can put this on the. Um... Oh, we don't have an RFB of an Ash 12. No, never mind. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter then. It actually doesn't matter. If we die, we die. Oh, we also got this. Don't forget that you've got this. Now this is a this is a weapon. L191. That's pretty good bullets. You'll have one hell of a time zeroing that. Yeah, dude, the height of a boar is mad. Players will run off to shot and he does not. Yep, yeah, I play a different game. We're playing hardcore, brother. You gotta you gotta play like slow and smart. Especially at the, at the start. When you once you get a little bit more equipment saved up, you can just go. But the whole point of hardcore talk of is you can't buy anything. So if I die right now. I lose all of this, and I never get it back, unless I go and fight somebody and take their stuff again. So every single decision has to be carefully planned. And that's what makes it fun for me, is that, like, extra layer of um, strategy, we'll say. Good bullets. Fine bullets. We are beggars, we cannot choose. 
that's actually uh, it's a it's it's a four grip. It's not a good one, but it's not horrendous. I think I actually do want to use this rather. It's worked well for us so far. Oh, I met you that player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that guy lost to us with this uh, with this PS round. I mean, I could barely. I mean, he was like a pixel on my screen. Managed to pock him. In, I think we got him in the chest. It'll tell us here. So we killed him. Follicle Fondler got him. It doesn't say it was not a headshot. That's all. It, that's all we know. This is all. Oh, there's a cord. That's what we needed. This is all good stuff, boys. It's all good stuff. Okay, we've got to go down this slope to the right, past the crashed airplane, uh, and then there's a little cabin. So if you don't know, Tarkov does not have maps. So you kind of got to just learn this stuff. Oh, first big decision of the day. Okay. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't actually. No, I don't actually want that. I was going to say, oh, maybe I want it because the, um, you can put the, I don't have bullets for it. I'm getting, getting bullets for it. It's going to be really difficult, but we could put that 4x scope on it. Tarkov has maps. Uh, but yeah, but, but like, sorry, you're right. Tarkov does have a maps tab. You have to have a physical paper map in your inventory. Oh, that's what I wanted to add to the, the rules was that we could have maps in our, in our butt. Um... Which I think I will allow. I'm allowed to buy maps and keep them in the butt. And that's mostly just so I can show people visually on screen where we're going and what we're doing. Uh, that's, yeah, yeah, I'm going to add that. Are you okay with that, chat? You fine with this plan? Is the crash plane? If not, I cannot do it. But I, I don't need them. It's mostly just to show uh, new players where everything is. Hey, guys, should I do it? Oh, no. I'm a sucker for a visual aid. I think it's a good idea. I think we'll just add it. Um, as long as it's not too immersion breaking. There are paper maps. Like, we're still reading them old school. Oh, I heard gunshots. I think Ali means Tarkov doesn't have useful maps. Yeah, yeah. Th thank you, Tater. Thank you for uh, speaking madness. Um, it's my, my only fluent tongue. Tater, Tater gets me, man. He knows. He knows. He knows? <laughs> Did you guys see the... Uh, oh, Mackenside, it was you. Mackenside was like, hey, what's the next... Uh, what's the next stream? Subathon, maybe? He doesn't know. Okay, here's our first quest of the wipe. Go ahead and get that stashed away. And that Iskra ration pack we found is one of the items we need to collect for said quest. So, pretty, pretty nice to have quite a few things checked off the list here today. I think we just got a sta- Oh! Now that is tempting. Because we have bullets for this. We got lots of bullets for this. It's not great. It can't mount sights, but... I don't want to lose any of this stuff. I think I think I keep... I think I skip. I think I skip. We got, we got two extra guns out of this raid. Let's not be stupid. We've got options. Uh, is the smoke up? Can we leave here? No smoke. No smoke. Okay. Gotta go the long way. Always a bit of a frustration that when that happens. I think I got really lucky with that player kill. I think I aim punched him. I think he I think he probably had sights on me. And uh, I think every time I hit him. It was knocking him out of out of sync, and eventually we just whittled him down.
Oh, yes, I wanted to check if we got... Oh, we got two scav kills. Who was the second one? So we... We shot at the dude. So we must have got the guy in the first raid then, I guess. The, the, we must have got the scab with the Ash-12. I didn't pay attention to the end raid screen. Okay, but we are out. Same extract as last time. But this time, with a much fatter wallet. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that is huge, dude. Guy in the grass bled out. I think you're right. I think you're right. But we have a Mosin. We killed a player. We got their Mosin. We got an F5-7 right there. Let's start stacking pistols. Those are very useful in hardcore. That grenade's lovely. We're gonna keep that. I think we keep. I think we keep, we roll it in. We reinvest in ourselves here, and we make a bit more cash. Forty grand right there. Uh, therapist will take this off my hands, and mechanic will take this one. In fact, Jaeger, you should take the. Hold on to all this. Jaeger should take that. Oh, wait, wait, I have to do my cost. Yes, I can't sell to Jaeger. There we go. Turn this in. Complete the quest. That's our first quest completed. And now, buy this. Uh, sorry, task me. Accept. We have an Iskra ration pack for Jaeger. And we can sell him this. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to say thank you everybody very much for watching this very first episode of Escape from Tarkov Hardcore Season 3. I hope you enjoyed watching. That was quite a successful one. We got our very first task done. We got some progress done towards everything. And we've got a nice baseline saved up here. Got our first player kill. Definitely, definitely feeling good about day one here. But we got a long road ahead of us to get to level 20, which is the rough goal for this time. Thank you all so much for hanging out. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top eh, 3% of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like. And here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um, what are you still doing here?